lots of people as go here and another Comic Con has come and gone. Keystone Comic Con. Um, it was a good time. Um, you know, the funny thing about Keystone Comic Con is it was, and I, I said this to a couple people there, um, Keystone Comic Con and Wizard World were kind of like opposites of each other because Wizard World had really great vendors, but the guest list was kind of weak. Keystone Comic Con was the opposite. The guest list was awesome, but the vendors were kind of weak, so it was kind of... They kind of flipped the script there. But all in all, it was still a good time, though. Still a fun weekend, nonetheless. Um, I did meet some viewers, and as always, I write the names down after I meet people because I know I'm going to forget. Um, so I saw uh, Rob, John, Eddie. Um, Eddie was there dressed as the Joker, and he actually gave me a card. And you, you'll see him in the video, and this that's what he was wearing right there. <laughs> And there's his contact info. I guess you could book him for events or something. And there's his Instagram. Oh, uh, we did take a picture together, so you'll probably see that on his Instagram. But yeah, if you want to check him out, show him some love. There you go. So there's Eddie um, Matthew, who I see pretty much every year, either at Wizard World or I saw him here. Um, Elias. Uh, I saw Ren, who was there on behalf of her partner, Stevie. Um, great meeting you, Stevie. Hey! Uh, Jason, Nick, and Phoenix. So, got to meet some very cool viewers. As always, thank you so much for making me feel like a rock star. Very flattering, it's always an honor. Thank you so much. You guys rock, you know you do. So, now let's get down to the hall. Um, I didn't really buy a lot of stuff. The majority of the money that I spent was on autographs, because like I said, the guest list was great. So there were Quite a few people I wanted to get autographs from. Um, so first and foremost, we'll start with uh, what's in my lap right now. Um, uh, the House of Hardcore was there. You could actually watch live professional wrestling at the convention. That was so weird, but so cool. The first time I've ever gone to a con and there was live pro wrestling there that you could watch. I thought that was awesome. So yeah, Tommy Dreamer's House of Hardcore was there. And Tommy Dreamer himself was there. And um, I got him to sign my my ECW championship. So there's Tommy Dreamer. So cool. He's a legend, man, and uh, so great to finally meet him. So yeah, got my belt signed by Tommy Dreamer. Long live ECW! Long live ECW, but that was really cool. Um, who else did I get? I got uh, Fred... F I'm gonna butcher his last name. Fred Pataschiore? I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but um, he did the voice of Megatron and a few other characters, but he did the voice of Megatron in uh, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, Rise of the Dark Spark. He's also done voices in some other Transformers games also, but most notably, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, uh, Rise of the Dark Spark. And he was the voice of Megatron, Ratchet, uh, he was the voice of Metroplex and Trypticon, and I think he did some other voices too. I think he was Sideswipe too? I could be wrong, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, he did quite a few voices in those games, and I got him to sign my uh, my Megatron here. I don't know how well you can see that, but he wrote on there, he wrote, Enough stupidity and betrayal! All my best, Megatron. <laughs> so, that was really cool. And he is such a cool dude. He's a really cool dude. Like, he is so, like, happy and enthusiastic to talk about what he does and his work. Like, you can tell he was just really just happy to be there. And um, it's funny because when he, when he was talking about, you know, making the game, uh, he was going in and out of his Megatron voice, which was really cool. And at one point, I had to go into my Megatron voice. <laughs> so we were kind of dueling Megatrons at, at one point. Um, when he was writing the All My Best Megatron, he's like, All My Best Megatron. I'm like, yeah, I love you, babe. We'll do lunch. You know, like, I just, I had to do it. I had to. I just had to, but it was pretty cool. So, yeah, Fred Pataschiore. Sorry if I'm butchering his name, but got my Megs signed by him. So that was really awesome. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, I got uh, Troy Baker was there. Troy Baker, who uh, did the voice of the Joker in Batman Arkham Origins, which is a great game. Love those Arkham games. Um... One thing I did not know until I looked up his IMDb, I didn't know that Troy Baker did the voice of Steeljaw in Robots in Disguise. I didn't know that was him. I didn't know. I didn't know that was him. Oh my God. Um, and it's funny because I went on eBay looking for a warrior class Steeljaw to get him to sign as well, and nobody had one. Like, I could not find one. I'm sure if I looked now, there'll probably be 50 of them up, but when I was looking before the convention, nobody had one, so 
If not, I would have gotten to sign that too, but I did get my, uh, my Arkham Origins Joker signed there by Troy Baker. He wrote, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so pretty cool. If you notice, it's like silver and black because um, he was going to originally do it in silver and he tried the silver marker and it was like almost out of ink. He was like, nope. Then he got another silver marker. He went, nope, that one's almost out of ink too. And then I was like, okay, we'll just do black. So he ended up going over it in black. But yeah, Troy Baker signed Joker. And it's really cool because I do have a uh, an Arkham Asylum Batman signed by Kevin Conroy. So now I have a Troy Baker Joker. Yay! So, quite cool. Will I ever have a Mark Hamill signed Joker? Probably not, but still, Troy Baker, just as good. He does an awesome Joker. It's pretty much a dead-on Hamill, so love him, love him. He was also the voice of Joel in The Last of Us, which is one of my favorite games in the past couple years. Love that game. Can't wait for part two to come out. Oh, I hope that game comes out soon. Love The Last of Us, but yeah. Got Troy Baker. So that was awesome. He was a really, you know, he was a really cool guy too. Again, another guy who's just like really enthusiastic and just enjoyed talking about what he does. And, uh, you know, he, he was talking about how Joker was like the best, the best role of his career. He was like, I, I made it, <laughs> you know? So really, really cool Me and Troy Baker. Uh, who else? Um, John Carpenter. John Carpenter, the writer-director of Halloween and many, many other films, many other classic films. So yeah, John Carpenter was there and I got him to sign my uh, my Michael Myers mask. So there you go. John Carpenter signed Michael Myers mask. Good, really, really nice guy. Very cool. So yeah, the night he came home. But yeah, got my mask signed there. And... Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so uh, Jason David Frank was there, the Green Ranger, White Ranger, he's been a bunch of other Rangers, and I got him to sign my my helmet. Um, the second I knew he was going to be there, I was like, he's signing this helmet, he has to. Uh, <laughs> so there is his signature, and on this side he wrote Tommy Green Ranger, and on this side, according to him, that is the kanji for karate, or karate, uh, but yeah, we have that signature. Tommy Green Ranger, so yay! Got my helmet signed, very, very happy. He's a really cool guy, really nice. Just sits there, he chats with everybody. He, he's the first one to stick out his hand when you come up to him, you know, like he's a really cool guy, really cool guy, really nice. Um, and what else? As far as signatures go, uh, there's just one more thing. And I will say this, this right here, is probably my most prized possession that I own. And um, I, I I grew up with Star Trek The Next Generation. That was like, that was my jam. I, I am a Star Trekker. I'm, I'm, I'm a Trekkie. Um, so I grew up on The Next Generation and I have been collecting autographs from the cast whenever they have been at cons. And um, I only bust this thing out of the box when I, I'm gonna get it signed. So I have my Enterprise signed here. I'll show you all the autographs I have on here. But this year, uh, LeVar Burton, who played Jordy, Michael Dorn, who played Worf, and Marina Sirtis, who played Deanna Troy, all three of them were there. I did get Marina Sirtis years ago at a previous uh, Wizard World, so I already had her autograph on here. So, you know, it was nice to see her again, but I didn't get another autograph. But um, I got LeVar Burton and I got Michael Dorn, and I'll show you all the other signatures I have on this as I bump the camera, sorry about that. But here, here it is. I don't know how well you'll be able to see any of this, but you can see right here, that's that's Marina Sirtis right there. That's LeVar Burton. His marker, unfortunately, was kind of running out of ink, but that's LeVar Burton. Um, there's, if you can see it, there's Michael Dorn right here. Um, right down here, I have John Delancey, who played Q. And over here, ah! Over here, I have uh, Brent Spiner, who played Commander Data, and the most important one, the captain himself, right up here, Patrick Stewart. So, I have a good amount of the cast signatures on my Enterprise. Eventually, eventually, one of these days, I'm going to have them all on here. But, yeah, very cool. Um, LeVar Burton, LeVar Burton was actually really cool. He was really nice. He was sitting there chatting with everybody. Michael Dorn, though, he kind of seemed like he didn't want to be there. Honestly, he was just kind of like, hey, hi, okay, 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 uh, you know, just, I don't know. He seemed just kind of like, 
not really enthused to be there. It's just kind of like, well, hey, it's a paycheck. Hey, all right, all right, I'll sign your stuff. Okay, here. You know, I <laughs> just, but still, still nice meeting those people. All in all, though. But yeah, finally added some more signatures to my Enterprise. I'm very, very happy. I'm going to put this back in the box and put it back on display. I love this so much. Eventually, they'll all be on here. Eventually. Someday. Someday. Hopefully in my lifetime. <laughs> Hopefully in their lifetime. Hopefully the, the people that I need won't won't croak before I can get their autographs. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's all I got uh, autograph wise. As far as actual things that I bought, I didn't buy too much this year actually, because again, you know the vendors the vendors were kind of weak. But I did still manage to pick up some stuff. Um, I got uh, got an Infinity Gauntlet keychain. You know, it goes. Goes with my ring, so you know, and, you know, in case I want to, you know, snap half of my keys out of existence, I, I, you know, I can do so now, you know. I just, so I got keychain. Um, I also got this. This was really cool. I couldn't pass this up. Um, this is a little wooden, little wooden coffin. Uh, and apparently this is hand drawn. This is hand drawn on here, and he had a bunch of them. He had Freddy, Jason, uh, Michael Myers, Candyman, Leatherface, like uh, Chucky. He had a bunch of them, but of course I had to get Freddy because you know Freddy's my homeboy. But that's really cool, and it's just a little wooden, little wooden coffin. You know, but <laughs> I had to get it. It's so cool. So I got that. Um, this was the booth that I got this from was uh, Geek Emporium. There's their card, so there's their contact info. If you want to check out what they have, there you go. They have, uh, they're on an, they're blah, 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 blah. I can talk, I swear. They have an Etsy store, so if you want to check out their wares, there is their information right there. So check out Geek Emporium. They might have these to sell right there. So, you got that going on. Um, what else? Uh, I did get a pop. I got a pop. I got the, uh, the Beast Titan. From Attack on Titan. Um, I have the Colossal, the Armored, and the Female Pop Titans. So I had to get this guy to go with them. And now I just need, I need the uh, the Aaron Titan Pop. So that way I have all of the featured Titans on the show. But yeah, a little Pop. Pop Beast Titan. So I got that. And uh, what else? I got... These figures right here, the um, these are the uh, the Kotobukiya. The, the, I don't know how to pronounce this word. The Bishuju, Bishoju. I don't know how you pronounce that word. Um, but I have the Freddy and Jason, the Freddy and Jason statues. So um, I bought these on Sunday because the dude who was selling these like cut the price in half, so they were dirt cheap. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick these up now. So I got the uh, the Michael Myers. I don't know how you pronounce that word. The Michael Myers one. And I also got the uh, the Ash from Evil Dead. So there you go. So I got those two. So they're going to go with my Freddy and Jason. I like the box design too. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, I got those two statues to go with my Freddy and Jason. And uh, that's that's it. Like I said, I didn't buy a lot. I didn't buy a lot. The majority of the money was on autographs. As far as actual stuff, I didn't I didn't buy anything. Um, it, it's funny because the dude that I bought my uh, Weird Wolf from at Wizard World was there at Keystone. Um, but yeah, and he did have some G1 toys, but he didn't have anything there that really kind of popped up at me and said, "Buy me," you know, nothing that I really like was screaming at me to buy it. So I didn't buy any Transformers. So yeah. I usually leave a comment with a G1 toy, but this year, at least at Keystone anyway, I, I just, nothing really, nothing really leaped out at me, but, but yeah, that's, um, that, that's it, that's the whole haul, that's all I got, but still, cool time, fun time, like I said, the vendors were kind of weak, the guest list was great, but all in all though, it was still a fun time, still had a blast, um, I'm still tired from all the walking, but, <laughs> uh, but still. A lot of fun as always um love being the viewer so again thank you guys so much you guys rock um and yeah i guess i guess we're done here we're done here so oh one thing to mention also uh tom holland was there again talking about the guest list tom holland was there spider-man spider-man was there i didn't meet him because he he costs way too much money 
for an autograph and a picture. That was just, he was charging, uh, it was $250 for an autograph, $250 for a picture. And, and he sold out too, so apparently a lot of people felt that was worth that much money. For me, I was like, no thanks, it's good, I, I, it's all right. <laughs> but it was still cool that Spider-Man was there, you know? Still cool that they got him to come in. Um, and it was, like, he was only there on Sunday, and Sunday was a mob scene. There was, like, so many people there, and you know they were there just to meet Tom Holland, and, uh, but it was cool, though. Really cool, but, yeah. That is it. That is it. That's the haul. That's the con. We're done. And I'm done. I'm tired. I'm gonna rest now. So, <laughs> we will go back to your regularly scheduled programming of reviews. Uh, starting tomorrow, we'll get down to the toy goodness, reviewing some more Transformers, reviewing some more blah 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 I think this is a good stopping point. Okay, so, there you go. I'm done. I'm gonna rest now. So, as always, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud. Home in your face!